I got this simulator figured out. Boy, I can bring it down that line all day long. You want me to hit? So I've always been looking at approach to the green. If I'm in the top 70 and I normally have a good year, I need my putting to be always in the top 40. Obviously, I'm not the longest on the tour, so if I'm driving in the fairway and hitting a lot of greens, then I'm letting my putter do most of the work, and that's what I want to rely on. So anytime I get a wedge in my hand, I'm, I've got to be really consistent and tight as far as distance control because I can't miss a green when I finally get the opportunity to hit a wedge. Whoa! Oh, you're kidding. After Poulter <laughs> hits that shot from driver off the deck, Kevin dunks one. I tell people it's out of necessity. I was looking right here, 150th in club head speed. It would be a long year for me. So uh, you got to have one or the other. You got to have distance or you got to have accuracy, and I rely on the accuracy. He likes to draw, see if he draws us back into that left to right wind to try to hold it. He did. That wind taken over, six feet of curve only. That's basically nothing. Yeah, well, my career's kind of gone from no technology to now having a uh, shot link available, going back and being able to look at tour cast and see almost every shot exactly what happened. I think not only me, but all the tour players use it on a daily basis to go back and see maybe what went wrong on a, on a poor shot or exactly what you did well on a good shot. And you can sit there and compare yourself using the shot link data to your peers and instantly figure out why they're beating you or why you're beating them. On that hole in particular, I've hit the fairway 95% of the time, so that's a good start. They put a bunker in the middle of the fairway that I can't get to that a lot of guys can, so off the tee I have little stress other than having a hazard right, but I have a very generous fairway that I can hit it as hard as I want to at that bunker and never get to. And then hitting a longer iron in, I think, sometimes takes some of the aggression out of my pre-shot routine. Where these guys are hitting six and seven irons, they're trying to make eagle from the fairway, and there's some danger around the green. Second shot at the five. 221 here for Kisner. That struck on solidly. Yeah. Actually drifted towards Stay the there. pin. In the last 20 times I've played it, I'm 19 under with 15 birdies and two eagles. That probably shocked me a little bit. I'm not sure if I've, I've ever looked at that, but it's a hole you have to make birdie. You know, the first three or four holes have gotten way more difficult at Kapalua, and so you kind of get a breather, but you got to make birdie there to, to compete. Now, Kisner, this is a big putt. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, so I'm, I know the ball's below my feet on this shot, so I'm always aiming a little more left, depending on the wind, and I know I have some help left of the green, which left of the green is a good miss because it's easy up and down. Knowing that, if I overfade it, you can, I've given myself plenty of room before I get towards the hazard. Oh, we got action. See, there's the left side of the green, kicks it right down there for you. Easy two putt, four, four. Little ball camera replay. So I was trying to hit a fade and obviously hit a little bit of a draw, but that's a good area to miss it. I've got this left to right slope left of the green that I know I can use to carry the ball and slow it down. So I've got it about hole high, 51 feet to the pin. Should be able to two putt that pretty regularly, make four and get on to the next hole. Well, the technology giving you a visual before you get there. You can know what to expect visually right at your home, looking at a screen. And then when you get there, there's no shock at all. It's, it's, I've seen this, I know what I'm doing, I know where I want to be. And I think the data only helps golf improve. Right down the line, 